and failure becomes the inevitable. All right, all right. Oh, yeah. that, that, that some of you, you turned the stone once. Mm. And because there was no manifestation uh, of a miracle, you decide to give up and to give in uh, on God. Uh, yeah. Then some of you, a few years ago, you receive a prophetic word. Uh, and because your prophetic word has not come to pass, uh, has not come to crystallization and fruition, uh, you decide to give up on God. Uh, I'm reminded with a woman uh, with an issue of blood. Uh, the Bible lets us know that she had that condition, uh, had that situation, circumstance, and dilemma uh, for some 12 years. Uh, in other words, 12 is a very long time. I want you to begin to imagine dealing with something for a very long time. There's a few of you, you've been dealing with something for that of a long time. Your business been struggling. Your marriage been in trouble. Your relationship with your children is on the verge of breaking down. You don't know your elbow from your toe. You don't know your head from your eyes. And you're trying to figure out, Lord, why? Why did you abandon me? I believe it was David that said, but why do the heathens rage and the people imagine a pain thing every now and then what God will do is allow shipwreck and turmoil to break on into your life but you got to realize that it's not to destroy you it's to bring you together it's the development of waters that he's putting you in to get you back and to get you up because what he's doing is trying you, proving you what he's doing is getting ready to elevate you what he's